Black and White Network supporters, make sure you check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. Link in the description. Use promo code USA First, all one word. USA First, all one word. 25% off now. I'm back. Rudrance for the Matrix and Road Show. Well, it looks like elite Hollywood privilege could end up rearing its ugly head once again. As we have a medical investigator that has ruled the Helena Hutchins shooting involving the film Rust, something that we have covered on this channel quite a bit, as an accident. Now, at this point, the, the, there's been no criminal ruling on this yet. Uh, this is the Daily Wire. A top government medical examiner has ruled that actor Alec Baldwin's fatal shooting of cinematographer Helena Hutchins late last year was an accident. The determination was made by New, Ye New Mexico's Office of the Medical Investigator was released Monday by the Santa Fe County Sheriff's Office and comes after news reports broke over the weekend about the results of the FBI analysis on the firearm that was used. The FBI come out and said, this gun's not pulling its own trigger without somebody doing it, essentially. I mean, come on. No decision has been made yet by prosecutors on whether Baldwin will face criminal charges in the case while they wait to collect safe cell phone data. Baldwin's attorney, Luke Nicholas, responded to the latest development in the statement. Quote, this is the third time that New Mexico authorities have found that Alec Baldwin had no authority or knowledge of the allegedly unsafe conditions on the set that he was told by the person in charge of safety on the set that the gun was, quote, cold and believed the gun was safe. That does make you wonder, though, if it's, if it's ruled an accident, could they still get him on some kind of negligence in all of this, some kind of manslaughter? I don't know. The FBI forensic report that was released over the weekend concluded that the revolver that was used during the fatal shooting could not have been fired without pulling the trigger. The report obtained by ABC News says the 45 Colt revolver, quote, could not be made to fire without a pull of the trigger while in a quarter cocked position, a half cocked position, or a fully cocked position. The hammer on the revolver was in the decocked position. The firearm could discharge a round by striking the hammer, which is a standard way that a, a revolver operates. In an ABC News interview last year, Baldwin said he pulled, pulled, quote, the hammer back as far as he could without cocking it. And then he, quote, let go of the hammer and bang, the gun goes off. Baldwin said in the interview that the trigger was not pulled. I didn't pull the trigger. I would never point a gun at anybody and pull the trigger at them. Someone put a live bullet in the gun, a bullet that wasn't even supposed to be on the property. The Washington Post published a fact, fact check article after the interview that quoted various firearm experts who expressed skepticism over the Baldwin claims. I can remember John Schneider, the actor from the Dukes of Hazard, among many other things, he posted a video on his Facebook essentially saying it was BS. Uh, so... That's where we're at right now with Alec Baldwin. We don't know where this is going to go from here. we got to remember here, he's a producer of this film, okay? So, in turn, he's got some all-inclusive oversight over the safety and everything of the whole film. Now, do I think something's going to come down involving the armor in the situation? In other words, how the hell did a live bullet get on... Get in the gun, get around the gun, get on the premises. I think that's going to be an issue, too, that's going to get investigated and already is. Now, supposedly, she might not have had as much experience as her father, who is a pretty well-known armorer in the business. Uh, so, there's a long way to go on this, I think. But, we've got, we've got an accident being called, quote-unquote, an accident. Um, but I don't think that's going to get Alec Baldwin completely out of the woods here. Again, I think negligence is a thing involved in this case. And so what does that bring in? You know, can that bring in manslaughter? Can that, 
you know, what do they call it? Involuntary manslaughter, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. We know he's got a lot, a lot of money. He's going to have a lot of, lot of lawyers that a lot of regular people wouldn't have in this particular situation. I tend to think regular people would be more careful, too. That's just my guess. Uh, tell me what you think, Matrix and Roadshow fans. Peace. I'm out. Till next time.